Hi everyone, this is Ashley Johnson sending you a ministry update from Kampot, Cambodia. Just wanted to take this time to let you know how things are going here in Cambodia um, with everything that's been going on with COVID-19. Thank you so much to everyone who has reached out to me and checked in to see how I'm doing. Um, I am doing well and I want you to see that I'm currently healthy and safe. And so thank you so much for everyone who's reached out and expressed uh, concern in regards to that. So many of us are being impacted by COVID-19. And so I just wanted to share a little bit with you about what that has looked like here in Cambodia and specifically what it's looked like for Stronghold Cambodia and our ministry. Uh, so we've received the official notice on March 16th from the Ministry of Education that all public schools would be closed until further notice. Uh, since Stronghold is partnered with public schools in our community, uh, we follow the same protocol that they've been given. Uh, we were already in session when we received that notification, and so we were able to continue with our day just explaining to the kids um, what was going on and that we would be closed for an unknown amount of time. Uh, so we were really sad to, to have to tell them that, and they were also really sad to hear that we would be closed for a while. Uh, but we were able to finish out the day with each grade and pray with them and encourage them to continue staying on top of their hygiene, um, to remember to be praying to God during this time and that we would all see each other again soon. Many people have asked me if I had plans to return home early uh, because of everything that's been going on. Uh, it has been a decision that is constantly being reevaluated. Uh, there's a lot of factors to take into account and one of the biggest factors is that uh, we feel traveling right now would actually put us at further risk of getting infected. Um, we felt that with that in mind it is not in our best interest to return home. Uh, so as of right now I am staying in Cambodia. Um, as you can see, I am in my apartment and I have been practicing social distancing and isolation. One of the biggest concerns we had uh, with COVID-19 is how all of this was going to impact our students and their families. A uh, majority of our students come from a disadvantaged community and their parents or their guardians are earning their wages daily. And so with all these closures and shutdowns that have been taking place because of the virus, um, a lot of them are now out of work and therefore cannot afford to provide food or other basic necessities for their families. Obviously, we were very concerned about uh, what this was going to look like for them moving forward. And so together with some of our partnering churches, we were able to provide uh, some basic necessities, just instant noodles, rice, and canned sardines to 40 of our most desperate families. We do have more than 40 families, so there are still a lot of families that are in need and could use our assistance. Um, at this time, we are still looking at what else we could do to offer them support during this time so that they can survive this pandemic. So, how you can help. Um, of course, please continue to be praying for us here. Uh, please pray for our students um, and their families that they will stay healthy and safe. Uh, for our staff and our volunteers at Stronghold, that we will also be able to stay healthy and safe. Also want to pray for um, our students and their faith, uh, as we've been teaching them a lot about God and about Jesus. Uh, pray that they will just remember everything that we've taught them and that they will continue to pray um, and trust in Him, that when things are scary and uncertain, that we can always turn to God. Also, I'd like to ask you to pray for them in their pursuit of education. Um, I know for many other places in the world, everyone is turning to online teaching. Uh, unfortunately, that is not an option for our students here. Uh, so please pray for them during this time that they will remain eager to learn um, and that when all this is over, that they will continue with their education and they will go back to school. You also are in our prayers during these challenging and uncertain times. Uh, I just want you to know that you are also being lifted up. Uh, I pray that you're able to use this time to grow closer in your relationship with God um, and that 
he'll just use this time to open your eyes to just see how incredibly unlimited he is and what he's able to do um, for ministry. Thank you so much for all the support that you've shown me during this journey. Um, I pray that I'm able to join you in fellowship uh, sometime soon. Hopefully this coming summer, I'll be able to see you guys again. Um, in the meantime, may you continue to feel God's presence in your life each day.